Okay. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Erica from the Classy Climb blog. I already see six of y'all waiting. Thank you. Uh, I am here at South by Southwest. We are downtown at the WeWork. Don't come visit us. It's busy down here. It's three floors. You won't find us. Um, but if you don't know who I am, I'm Erica Williams, author of The Smartphone Millionaire, How to Invest in Real Estate, Businesses, and People from the Palm of Your Hand. You can grab it on Amazon or any of the links to the right. As you guys come in, do us a big favor. Drop your city and state. Hit the like button. Let us know where you're coming from. Hit the like button. And everybody, if you don't know who this is, where you been at? But two, introduce yourself to the audience. Hey, everybody. My name is Terry Ichioma with Invest with Terry. I'm a day trader that was able to quit my job and start traveling around the world. And now I teach other people how to do the same thing, how to trade stocks in the stock market in order to bring them regular income. And that way they can pursue their passions. All right, you guys, listen, as you come in, thank you so much for hitting that like button. Listen, we bought Terry on the show and several of you even jumped out and got her course been yeah. making big changes in your life. So congratulate to you guys. Yes. Um, two, the reason we're doing this video today, because you guys, I don't know if you noticed, a particular couple of videos of mine went viral on YouTube. Uh, and the comments have been, hey, hey, hey. So uh, a lot of people were not particularly happy with some of my older videos. One of the videos was three reasons why black people aren't wealthy. Now, I know a little bit nervous topic there. But one of the things I try to do on this channel is I try to bring on people who can share you their skills, how they're making money, how they're uh, getting returns, and like how to recession proof your life. So many people are like, oh, Erica, you know, it's just a struggle out here, inflation, taxes, kids, you know, your parents. And I keep trying to show you, it does not, um, it's about to frame the screenshot. Do it, girl. Annette's worth, what's up? Hey, Annette. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be that way. And what's up to the people on Instagram Live? Hey, y'all, welcome, welcome. <laughs> and so the whole reason I like everything I do to this, to my YouTube channel is for people to find a way out, for people to find a way to invest, people to find a way to make changes in their life. So with that being said, Terry, I'm going to give a shout out to the audience and then we can get started. Go for it. So there's almost 50 of y'all here. Make sure you're hitting the like button. Rock and roll, Dina, any of the moderators, you can use these links from Terry up top. Uh, you see it highlighted. Just share them with the group. Uh, we got Virginia in the building, Brooklyn, more Brooklyn, Charlotte. What's up, Troy, Nicole, Los, Los Angeles. We got Philadelphia. Uh, we got New York City. Let me see what we got. What's up, Sylvia? What's up, Tim A? Phoenix, Arizona, Atlanta, Washington, D.C., uh, Chicago, South Central. Again, you guys, she has a, a rental in Chicago. I do, I do. Uh, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Decatur, Georgia, Wilton, Delaware, Raleigh, Hampton, VA, and Chicago, Illinois. What am I reading that? No, I'm Columbus, Ohio. My eyes are somewhere else. <laughs> y'all. Welcome. Welcome, guys. We no, we Uber Eats is almost <laughs> on the hungry, way. She's y'all. Please, please pray for her. She's hungry. Why, Lord. Uber has, I mean, like, I love Uber, but they've been taking a minute to bring her food, so they pray for disrespectful. her. <laughs> they playing with me. Um, but hopefully the guy's nice and doesn't throw my food out the window. Mm -hmm. um, really nice. Hopefully he's nice. It's been there for a minute, though. <gasps> He's getting closer. Minutes, so listen, okay. you guys, if you see me dip out of the frame for a little bit, I know you guys are going to be on your best behavior. You're going to treat Terry with respect. So it's going. It's like 60 of y'all in here. Yes. Hit that like. We got Dallas, Massachusetts, Los Alamos, New Mexico, engineering cannabis. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Atlanta, <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio, Syracuse, New York. <laughs> what is good, you guys? Maryland. Maryland. You guys are rolling in. I'm very proud of y'all. Thank you so much for sharing that. Rock and roll Dina. Rock and roll Dina's out there making all the big bucks. Yes. Um, so here's some things. People see the stock market going up and down. You know, some people say, well, stock market isn't the economy. Mm -hmm. Only 20% of people are in the stock market actively. My thing is, but why, if you see money being made there, why aren't you there? Mm, good question. I think people are afraid that it's gambling mm -hmm. and they, they want to like hold tight to their money and they feel like if they were to let go of it at all, then they would lose it. Mm -hmm. But the problem is if you don't let go of it, you also won't make any money. Right, right. If you just have it sitting in a savings account that's making like point zero zero nothing mm -hmm. percent of return, then you just you won't build real well. 
Right, right, right. So I was mm-hmm. watching another stock, another stock person, Aisha Selden. I watched an old bit interview of hers, and she was saying mm-hmm. uh, there's levels, like where someone just spends all their money, then there's somebody who lives paycheck to paycheck, and then there's someone who's a saver. Yeah. But you got to go past just the saving to investor. Yeah. Because what happens is, oh, I'm saving all this money, mm-hmm. but then inflation, taxes, is that worth it? Yeah. Like, so I was talking to someone recently and she trades currencies. So I, I primarily focus in stocks and options and she was trading Forex and currencies. And we were talking about how, yes, you could go out and actually buy real gold and you could have it sit in your house and you know that you have some gold sitting there. But the thing is, the value of that gold changes on a daily basis. So although you may have three bars, that three bars may be worth I'm going to make up a number. It might be worth $30 today. And then tomorrow it may be worth 28. Like the value can go down even if you have it sitting there in your pocket. But that's the same thing with the money in your savings account. Because of inflation, even though you have $100,000 in the bank today, it can get you maybe a house today. But then in two months, it won't be able to get you anything. So the value of your money just sitting there also changes on a day to day basis. Right. Mm-hmm. And and so I think what people are seeing is like they're seeing elderly people in California and New York. Oh, I saved all this money. I paid off my house. Yeah. But what was what is your money invested in? Or um, if you see people, you know, wholesalers going to different communities. Well, my mom's house is worth a million dollars. Fixed up your mom's house worth a million dollars. Right. Um, with you with good credit, you can get some equity out your mom's house. Mm-hmm. But your mom's house sitting the way it's sitting right now is not worth a million dollars. Yeah. People are learning today that the money that they have won't last as long as they're living. Mm -hmm. So they're having to go back to work even at 65, even at 68, because they need to keep working to be able to support their life. And that's something that I think people wrestle with. They think, oh, well, I have a million dollars in the bank. It's fine. But how long will that last? And it keeps eating away. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Dollar I, dollar will said I'm bearish, but active. Right. 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 So so what I was showing them on some videos I've been sharing mm-hmm. is I'm not a trader. I love the ideal. But you guys, you know, my story from college about them penny stocks. OK, uh, <laughs> but I love the ideal that my money is making returns and, and giving me dividends. So that's what I was like quietly doing. But there's there are people out there who are following systems, following good education. Yeah. And then they understand, right? So again, Annette's worth, we give her another shout out here, but literally hey, she Annette. is just following systems and learning right. how to make it work. Yeah, I give my students seven steps mm-hmm. and it's literally seven steps. If you can do each of the seven steps each time you make a trade, then you can make consistent income. Right, right. right. And you can also protect yourself. I think some people are a little worried that like, oh, well, trading, I'm going to lose it. Like I said before, I'll Mm -hmm. lose it. But part of those seven steps is how do you protect yourself? How do Mm -hmm. you protect yourself from losing money? If you consistently put in your stocks and consistently do the steps, then you also be able to protect your account. Exactly. Mm I hear that part. See, people be, they they hear that one part they want to. Yeah. The stock market isn't gambling when you learn learn analysis or how to analyze charts. And you know where the market is going to go. Learned all this from Terry. <laughs> Thanks, Annette. But it's so true. Once you once you learn how to analyze a the chart, then you know where it's going. And you can also set up your trades so that you take high probability trades. You don't have to take high risk trades. You can take ones that you know there is a very high chance that I'm going to make money on this. It's going to move a dollar. It's going to move. It, it it has to move. Mm-hmm. And even if it doesn't move, I won't lose very much. Like you can walk out the house knowing exactly how much you stand to lose and how much you stand to gain. Okay. All from reading a chart. I like that. So mm-hmm. so some of the things I was trying to get them to see is it's long-term investment too, right? Mm-hmm. So let's say, Terry, I want to invest in stocks, but how much do I need to start? I don't know. I don't know. And let's do the math. To start with stocks, Terry, you said what, $1,000? Yeah. There's right? A- there's a difference. I didn't want to cut you off, no, 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 no. but there's a difference between mm-hmm. investing and trading. Yes, yes, yes. Very so much if so. you're investing, which is just putting your money into a few mm-hmm. stocks for the long term, mm-hmm. you can start with any amount. There you go. You just need the amount of a share. So whatever the share costs, mm-hmm. like say, and that differentiates by company. So like say you're investing in advanced applied micro devices. Mm-hmm. There's like twenty five dollars a share with one hundred dollars. You can invest in four shares of that company. Or you go to a bigger stock, like maybe something like Apple. Apple, $150 a share. 
okay, now if I have $300, I can invest in two shares. Exactly. So you don't have to have a lot to get started with long-term investing. When you're looking to make more regular income, you do need larger amounts in your account, but that's for two reasons. One, if you're getting in and out of stocks quickly, you want to be able to see the, the return. If you just have two shares, yes, it may go up a dollar, but you only made $2 today. So you want to be able to start seeing those returns faster, and it's nicer to have larger amounts. Also, depending on how active you're trading, the government may require you to have a larger account size. So if you're trading more than three times a day or uh, in and out in a daily basis, more than three times a week, then they'll require you to have probably about 25000 in your account. Okay. So it depends what kind of trading you're doing. Well, the second part, too, I was saying is you're talking about a couple hundred or a thousand dollars. When people are talking about, I want to invest in real estate. OK, you're talking about thousands of dollars. Exactly. And then you're like, oh, I want to buy trucks. Mm hmm. 50000 dollars, right? So I, I just want people to see that they need to be aware of the amount. But yeah. Terry, give them some give them some background. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay. Listen, if you guys aren't nice to my friend Terry, <laughs> I'm gonna get you guys. But listen, you guys, ask some questions about how she finds stocks. Ask her some easy stuff. Give her yeah. some snowball questions. But you take it over and teach it like a <laughs> webinar. I'll be back. Okay. I'll be back, Instagram. <laughs> Um, thank you guys. So like I want to actually revisit this concept we just talked about with the difference of investing in real estate versus investing in the stock market and some of the pros and cons. And then we'll come back and we'll revisit how to recession proof your finances using stock trading. But I think what Erica just said was so important. So when I first started trading, I initially was going to invest in a home. And it was during the time of the stock market crash. And I'll come back to you guys' comments. But it was during the time of the stock market crash and the housing crash in 2008. And I said, oh, my God, this is a great time. There's all these foreclosed properties. Let me get a property and fix it up. But in order to buy the property, I was going to have to put a down payment of about $35,000. And that included me buying the house and then also some, some money to fix it up. So my initial investment into real estate was going to be $35,000. I decided instead to put that money into the stock market. So now I have $35,000 that I can play with investing in stocks. And as we just said, you can start investing in stocks with a lot less money than that. You can start with 500, 1,000, but the initial investment into stocks is a lot less than what you would need to do a down payment and fix up a house. So just wanted to give you guys that feedback on, OK, there's different types of investments. Where should I start? If you don't have that much income to start with, then maybe consider starting with the stock market. And then even after you get some returns, you can maybe go and invest in houses. Does that make sense? I hope that makes um, a little bit more clarity. And let me look at some of the comments over here. I see. How does a beginner get past PTD? rule if they don't have 25k great question brian so here's what you do most of you all will be swing traders instead of active um, investors so or instead of day traders so if you're a swing trader you can get into a stock today and then if you just wait overnight and sell it the next day you're considered a swing trader so you no longer have to worry about that rule most of my students end up being swing traders and they still can make the same income, the same daily goals, but they just don't buy and sell in the same day. They'll buy and then let it go overnight and sell the next day or the next couple days. Great question. Um, thank you, Valdez. I just got finished watching the first video y'all did. Um, can you do a video about parents opening accounts in their name and let them go delinquent? I think that's a different topic for us than here. So we just talked a little bit about the Erica's back. <laughs> when she was running back. She was like, I don't want her to take over my thing. No, no, I want her to take over. <laughs> but we, I just told them about um, the difference between the initial investment you need with real estate versus mm -hmm. the initial investment you need with investing in the stock market. That, I'm telling mm -hmm. you, we'll use these tools to build that income up. And you exactly. have to look at, listen, there's a woman I love. I stalk her, but not on purpose. Aisha <laughs> Selden. And hey, she, you know, we still see y'all. <laughs> she's a stockbroker, and she owns a business franchise, and she invests in real estate. 
Yeah, I was selling them on previous channels. Give me a second, catch more. There's two types of ways for real estate to make you money or mm -hmm. preserve your wealth. Yeah. Right. So if you got the real estate, you're getting 20, sometimes more. I don't want to mm -hmm. like blow their heads up, but if you get a property that's fifteen thousand dollars, they're paying a seven hundred dollar rent mm -hmm. for forever. Yeah, forever. Yeah. Okay. Or you're getting a property a duplex, mm -hmm. you know, for one hundred fifty thousand, two hundred thousand, and they're yeah. paying thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're making that money. You are. You're preserving and that wealth. You are. And we we shouted out Annette earlier, but one of the things she's in real estate and investing. But one of the things she even mentioned is on a monthly basis from her renters, she gets about fifteen hundred dollars. Like that's the income that they pay after rent. And then she has to take some money out of that, right, to pay the mortgage different things mm -hmm. but what i've been teaching her she can make fifteen hundred dollars in a day and she has right she's made two thousand six hundred dollars in a day all right Annette. so Tell now it's kind of like no. dang this what i used to get in a month mm -hmm. in real estate is what i'm getting in a day in trading right and then and even mm -hmm. if she has down days it's two different types of money yeah we're talking about a little bit of i call it liquid money and then we call it like just reserve you know what i mean like yeah. it's like passive income you know that you know that tenant's gonna be there. You know that money's mm -hmm. coming. Same thing with trucking. People are like, "Oh, why are you doing trucking?" I'm like, "It's cash flow that I can mm -hmm. use to get over here." Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a million ways to win. Choose one. But my whole thing is, people have to understand how much things cost mm -hmm. in order to invest in them. Right. What does the startup cost? And actually, you don't even have to choose one. Choose yeah. multiple. So, like we were talking about, with I'm in real estate and in stocks. My what I think is most fun is actually investing in the stock market. So I put more of my effort there. But I also have rental home for people to pay that I get rent on. And then I have Airbnb. So I'm getting rent while I'm traveling around the world. So like there's so many different ways to make income. I'm a real estate broker. So I have see that. She just <laughs> her and Kendra, all the money. Hey, hey Kendra, shout out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the key resource. She's awesome too. Um but so that's one thing that we do have to think about, the initial mm -hmm. investment. Mm -hmm. And people ask me literally all it's the time, steal. how much do you need to get started with okay. when you're investing in stocks? So here's the answer to that question, plain and simple. When you first get started, you don't need any money. Actually, let me rewind. You need about $500. And the reason why you need that is because I like to use this one system called TradeStation. That's the brokerage that we use. And you can pick any brokerage. I'm not um, giving advice for that one, but just my students, we like to use that one because they have a really robust platform and you can read the charts really well. You can uh, automate your trades. It's just like a really great platform. So they allow you to, if you fund your account with $500, then you can trade on their simulator with paper money or fake money. So I do say in order to get started, I think you need at least $500 so that you can start trading on a simulator and you can start practicing while you learn. I want you to earn while you learn. Does that make sense? You shouldn't be um, just learning all of this. Like, like if you were sitting in a classroom and you're learning all of it and then you wait a year to actually get started. No, this is one of those hands on things. Start learning the information and actually start trading. So earn while you learn. Practice on a simulator. You only need five hundred dollars to start doing that. After that, I think you should start upgrading to investing. So investing, I'm thinking about the long term investors. So now we've taught you how to pick good companies. <laughs> Eric is over there playing with the Instagram. Hold on. Um, Let me put this phone down because I'm not buying Terry another phone. But we are. Oh. So <laughs> after you practice on the simulator, then fund your account with some more money. So mm -hmm. you initially funded it with like five hundred dollars. And that's good. You don't have to touch it. It's just like a bank account. But now you can put a little bit more money into it so you can make a substantial position in a stock. So maybe you can get 50 shares or 100 shares of something of a company that you like. And at this point in the class, we've already taught you how to pick good companies and place the trade. So now you can do that with your real money with a smaller amount. And that's for like long term investing. This yeah. is a company that's a good company. You think that they're going to be good for the long haul. Yeah. And even when people like CG3 goes. I see the market going down, bounce, then further, go further down. You can make money when the stock market goes down. Yes. And we're actually about to talk about it because I really, really want to talk about that. Um, but I just got to answer this question because people ask me it a lot. So I want you to feel comfortable with my answer. So once you've started investing for the long term and you put a little bit of money in there, 
um, between like a thousand and five thousand and you're just picking companies you like. Now we're going to go into active trading. So now you've been following those companies, you've gotten used to them, you see how their charts go. Now you want to start making money on their ups and downs as they move on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. And if you don't have a lot of time, it's OK. You don't have to do this every day, but at least you'll have the skill set to know when to get in and out. So you can watch it after the week and say, you know what, I think it's at a place this week where it's about to go down. Let me sell some of my position. And then when it comes down, I'll get back in again. You know, like now you can start actively trading it. And that's when you have about I would say you need at least five thousand. But if you have like five to plus, Mm -hmm. then you're in a place where you can start actively and trading and doing well. You guys, mm -hmm. it's one hundred and thirty of y'all in here. And 53 likes. Come on, y'all. The likes are free. Now, listen, some of you are like, I've got questions. Drop some super chat in the chat. We're trying to keep the show rolling. We hear you. We see you. But as we keep the show rolling, throw some $1.99, a $2 appreciation to the show. It helps the show and it helps your questions get answered because some of you have very long, detailed answers, questions. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for getting the likes up. Again, the likes help us fight Skynet. We survived Skynet. We're here. We're going viral. So press, like, press, like. press the like. So, <laughs> oh, the VIP link doesn't work. I'm sorry. I will double check, but I'm pretty sure that's the right one, you guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be back now. Terry will be back. All right, you guys. So, look, the reason I we talked about this today is, you know, on the channel, I'm always talking about getting 8 to 12% returns on your money. And a lot of times people say, well, where can I get that? You get that in stocks, you get that in rental properties, yeah. you get that in investing your money. Um, somebody said in the comments, scared money don't make no money, which yeah. is hilarious, but it's the truth. It's true. Mm-hmm. And if you're scared, what that tells me is you're not uh, feeling educated enough on the process. Yeah. So that's why I keep bringing Terry on. I keep bringing yeah. different people on in tech and different companies so you can get familiar not only with your with Terry's face, but also mm-hmm. with what she's talking about. It's not it doesn't have to be a foreign concept. Yeah. And I love how you broke it down one time talking about like Chipotle stocks or something like that. Yeah. And and, and sometimes you just start with what, what are people everyday things people are thinking about? Yes. Start with start with things you're familiar with. So the phone that you use. Oh, OK. I use an Apple phone. That's good. Oh, what about the computer that I use or the KC, place that I eat? Yeah. The grocery store. Croker's actually had earnings today. Unfortunately, they went down. But hey, going down is a good time to get in on a good company. Kroger's um, good. Yes, they have it's fighting. Food. It's fighting in between Publix and uh, Harris Teeter, though. Oh, see, I don't even know either. See, one look at that. that. See, <laughs> listen, you gotta know. Listen, nah, nah, this is serious. When someone names a stock, that's how you. That's how you gotta think about it. Like I'm from the southeast, and I love Kroger. Growing up, I love Kroger. Mm-hmm. Well, now Harris Teeter is overshadowing Kroger. Okay, mm-hmm. then you have, or they merged together, one of the two. But let me double check that. And then you have Publix, which is now the, the fame of the South. Oh, yeah. And I just I just went to Publix in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. It was actually really nice. And so Kroger used to be all up in Atlanta. Hmm. See how those see. And so you got to put it towards things that make sense, like towards you. Like, yeah. um, what's another one? Oh, gosh. What's another one I'm thinking of that, that's relatable? People could get what I'm saying. Not just Chipotle, but. It was another stock, but there's like all kind of retail, all kind of retail. Target, Walmart. But see, here's the thing. Now, I'm as an active trader going to think a little differently than that. Exactly. So, so that's the there's bringing you yeah. On. So there's things that there's good companies that we like a lot, but mm-hmm. that are not good companies to trade. True. So, for example, um, Chipotle's doing great right now, but for a little while it was consistently going down, Terrible. and it was not a good stock to trade in, okay. even if you like the food. Um, and the reasons why they had that virus scare, they had um, switch in management. People didn't know if the new management was going to work mm-hmm. out. And then even just if the banks are. So here's the thing, people. We're not when you're trading as an active in, uh, investor, you're not thinking about retail investors. You're thinking about banks. Where do banks spend their money? Where are they buying and selling stocks? So if the banks are not um, behind Chipotle yet. And they're not investing money there, then there's no reason to buy it because the stock price will keep going down. When the banks start coming in with those million share orders and they have a lot of buy orders, that's when the stock price will start coming back up. Likewise, if the banks are selling and they have huge orders to sell, that's when the stock price will come back down. 
And we just, in terms of recession, I just talked to my advanced students about that recently. Mm -hmm. And we were looking at the charts and we could see where banks had big orders to sell the S&P and the Dow. Mm -hmm. Like that's the overall market. Mm -hmm. And when the banks are selling, then the whole market's going to come down. Mm -hmm. So that's why like reading a chart, like you can tell when things are going to go up and down. So I don't know. You you guys like things that move what a dollar in a day? I do. I like things that move at least a dollar a day. That way I can make consistent income. So if you're thinking about um, like if you're thinking about buying something and you want to make consistent income, but your stock doesn't move in price, then you won't make any money. Right. So you need things that move at least a dollar a day. Right. right. So this mm-hmm. so this one guy, we won't name him, but he talks about a natural gas company. Now, mm-hmm. I love energy companies for the high dividends. where People are like, oh, my God, 15 percent. That's so risky. I love it. Uh, but they're also some of these natural gas and energy companies, they move like a dollar, three dollars a day. That's so, good. So those are things you in those kind of vein of something that's moving activity. So here's the thing. You have to like when you're thinking about a company, mm-hmm. you have to think of several things all together. Right. So not only does it have to move at least a dollar a day, it also needs to be best in breed. So are those companies that move a dollar to three dollars? Are they the best energy companies in the sector? One or two are. I okay. And I would say I would say one of them is just it dominates a region, right? Like so one of the things I like mm-hmm. is CenturyLink. I know everybody mm-hmm. why. CenturyLink serves rural areas. There's no other there's no competition. They like, have a monopoly on that area. Yes, like they are big in Alabama, big in parts yeah. of Florida. So like I know people who trade CenturyLink. That's yeah, why I like yeah, you know, yeah. So like CenturyLink moves up now, but CenturyLink is a beast. Like as there's long, no competition. As long as it's best in breed, like if it's the the main thing in that sector, mm-hmm. then invest in it. Right, right, right. And especially if it's going like consistently up. Like I still want you to get one that's on mm-hmm. an uptrend. Like, well, hold on. I'm oh, sorry. Charles said in Terry we trust. Terry with one R. Did I put two R's on the video again? <laughs> Man, hey Charles, Terry, good to see you. Terry gonna mess with me. I, <laughs> I promise I'll put one R in the video. Um, it, it, and yes, what he's saying, y'all, my name is spelled T E R I. And if you're from the country, it's T E R I. My mom's name, fun fact, I'm a junior. So my mom's name is Terry with two R's. Oh, she's really My name is Terry. Terry with one R. Isn't it when you're so, when you go to the school and they say it's Terry with one R? Yes, so. Mine is Terry with one R. If you say Terry with two R's, you're talking to my mom, and I won't answer you. (laughs) Okay, the reason I'm laughing, okay, you guys, behind the scenes, there was a guy in a wheelchair, and he was lighting a firecracker, and his name was Terry. And they were like, Terry, reverse, reverse, and it went viral. He wasn't hurt, but it was like, the craziest video because why are you going to compare me to the the, the man in the wheelchair? (laughs) No, I'm saying the name Terry. It's like Dang. somebody sent somebody <laughs> sent me that link. They're like, the way you say Terry is country. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it country. And then they sent me the video. So wait, okay, so wait. Somebody asked me earlier about recession, and so Erica wants to eat her food while she eats. I want to show you guys camera. about recession. Okay, so first let's talk about the impact of recession real quick, so oh, you can yeah. understand why it's so important. So when the stock market goes down. The first place that's impacted is all of the people who are invested in 401ks. So you may say, oh, well, I'm not invested in the stock market. But if you've been contributing to your company's retirement plan, you are invested in the stock market. So if it goes down, then your portfolio has now substantially gone down. So between October to December, the stock market lost 20 percent of their its value. If you know anybody that's been planning for retirement. So, for example, to my uncle, my aunt, two of my aunts are in retirement age right now. They're in that um, late 50s well, mid to late 50s, 60s area. They were starting to look at their account and now it's going to push out their retirement. They have to. That's Erica. If you hear some food, she eating y'all. Um <laughs> Um, so it, it, it affects retirement. But then the second thing that's affected is companies. So a large part of their their wealth with many companies is in the stock market. So when the stock market starts going down, then that limits how many bonuses they can give. It also affects if they have to lay off people because their um, financial wealth is not as good. And you'll see that, too, when people whenever you see the earnings come out and you see them talk about their uh, revenue and then also their um 
profit, if if the company's stock value is coming down, a lot of times they can't afford a lot of the bonuses and they start having to lay off people. So it impacts um, the company's overall health. Thanks, Terry Trade and Travel Class. Okay, good. Thank you. Somebody posted the link. I do have a course. It's a, a Trade and Travel is the intro course. It's for all the beginner novices. And then the advanced class is for people who want to take their trading to the next level. So both of those links are in the um, comment section. So that's the importance of what happens when we have a recession. Even if you're not invested, even if there's only 20 percent of the population invested, those people that are invested are impacting the market, which is most wealthy people. Right. And those are most of the people who are actually hiring. So. The recession will impact us. So now let's talk about how do you make money, though, when there's a recession? Because it's so possible to make money when the stock market is going down. And many times we don't know these things. So there's a couple things. One, when the stock market is going down, I want you to start building up a little bit of cash on the side. So if you're already invested in stocks in your portfolio, I want you to start building up a, a bit more cash. So maybe come out and bring out 30 percent of your portfolio into cash or you could even put 40 percent of your portfolio into cash. I'm just saying put a little bit more money to the side so that when the stocks do come down, you have some cash to actually start investing when the prices are lower. OK, so that's one step. Start building up a bit of cash. And if you're not like say you're not investing yet and you don't know how to start taking the classes now. So like get into my course now so that you'll know what to do when the prices come down. You don't have to wait and then be too late, like learn now. And then as you get some money, you'll be able to invest it. OK, guys, so that's step number one. Step number two is there's this thing called shorting. And y'all, I'm dropping all the knowledge right now so i want you guys to Super like <laughs> yeah Super so like chat. really take note of these things because a lot of people only think that you can make money in the stock market when stocks are going up we've always learned to like buy low and sell high that's just been the thing that you hear all the time but the truth is you can sell high and buy low those two things don't have to be in any particular order you can actually sell high first and then buy it back low that's called shorting, short selling. And you can actually make quite a bit of money when stocks are coming down using short selling. It's literally the same way that you would make money buying and selling it high. Same exact concept, just in reverse order. So that's another thing, another way you can make money. And here's the thing, though. When you see things getting high at a high level, you have to be able to pull the trigger on a short sale. And you look like a Sid. The best thing you can invest in is yourself and health. Yes. Thank you, Brandy. You're right. Um, what is IPO? OK, Eric, I can come back to that um, initial public well, I offering. Just, I just write. I write notes and then I hit back. And then come notes. back. OK, good. I'm learning. Eric is teaching me, y'all. But OK, so here's the thing with that short sale. So you can't short sale after things are already starting to fall. It's a lot harder to borrow. So a lot of times you'll see people like I had one student and he was like, Terry, you know, every time I try to short sale, I'm getting this message, this error message, and it's hard to borrow. But that's because once things start falling, it's harder to actually um, do a short sale and borrow stocks in order to sell them high and, and buy them back lower. The problem is with shorting, you have to buy, you have to do a short when the stocks are high. So emotionally, I know that's going to be a little tough because you're going to be like, oh, my God, what if it keeps going up? And, you know, I, I'm supposed to short it so it'll go down. But get your emotions in check. Get your like just get like get familiar with the steps that I teach in my class. And you guys like you can make quite a bit of money when stocks are coming down if you learn how to short sale. So that's number two. Then number three is about options. So we talk about options in the advanced class, and I know they put the um, link over in the comments. So check that out if you want to learn more about options. But there are two ways in options to make money when stocks are coming down. So one way is to buy a put. And so what is a put? A put is a put is basically you asking for time, extra time on a depreciating asset. So, Terry, what does that mean? Can you give me an image? Can you give me a picture? So it would be like this. Have you ever bought a car? And, you know, as soon as you buy a new car and you drive it off the lot, it loses value. So this would be like you buying a car 
And then you saying, you know what? If I decide that I don't want this car in two weeks, can I bring it back for the same price that I bought it for? But you know that as soon as you drive it off, it's going to depreciate in value. But you're just asking the seller, like, please, sir, if I bring it back in this much time, will you let me um, sell it back to you at the same price that I bought it? That's a put. You're assuming that the, the asset, the stock will go down in value and you buy some extra time to let it go down in value. All right. So that's a put. So if you're looking to make money in options, one op one way to do that is to buy puts. On the flip side, though, you could also sell calls. And I know this might sound really random to some, but for some that trade options, like I see Blue Cousin, wonderful. You trade options. This is helpful for you guys. Another way that you can make money uh, when the stock market is coming down is you can sell calls. So a call on the flip side, on, on the other side of puts is a call. And a call is when you're asking for extra time on an appreciating asset. So this would be like you're going to buy a house because a house is an appreciating asset. This is like you're going to buy a house. You ask them, OK, can I buy this house from you? Let's do the contract today. But have you, has any, have any of you guys ever heard of an options period? It's when you get like two weeks to kind of get your inspection done, get your appraisal done. And then after that two weeks that you get to either leave the contract or you can buy it. That's called an option period on a house. That's the same thing with a call option. So you're buying, you're buying stock and you assume that it will appreciate in value, but you're asking, can I have two weeks to just, just decide if I'm still going to buy this? And if I'm not going to buy it, can I actually get out of the contract? So that's basically what you're doing. You're just buying time on an asset that you think will appreciate. But as the seller, the seller is assuming that the price will go down so you can sell calls. And then that way you actually make money if the price of the call goes down or the price of the stock goes down. So that's in options. Sorry, y'all were at WeWork. So you might hear people talking. But in options, there's two ways to bet on if the price of the stock is going down. You can either buy puts or you could sell calls. I personally like both options, but the thing about it is whenever you're working with, op I keep using the word option, but whenever you're working with options, the VIX and volatility really plays a part in the strike price. So if you're buying puts, the VIX and the, the volatility needs to be really low in order for you to get the best strike price for your money. If the volatility is high, which it usually is when prices are starting to fall down, the volatility goes up, then selling a call will actually make you some pretty good money because like ex you're selling expensive calls that will lose value quickly. So that's just a little information on different ways to make money when the stocks are coming down. And you can use those things even now because the stock market has been falling the last three days. And I assume that it may continue to fall. So now let me come and answer some questions. So <laughs> Annette says, you all are getting a free class right now. Take notes. You are really um, at Eric initial public offering. Yep, that's what an IPO is. So, for example, Uber is supposed to be doing an IPO soon. And that's when they're going to start building up cash from the market by selling pieces of their company. And so that's what you're doing when you do an IPO. Hey, I heard your podcast. Thank you. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate that. Um, and then question, if we purchase trade and travel, do we have to pay full price for VIP later? Great question, Valdez. No. If you purchase trade and travel and purchase it at full price so you get that discount, there's a coupon for the full price payment. Purchase it. And then later on, you can always upgrade to VIP. And the VIP program is $5,000. So you'll just pay an extra $3,000 when you're ready to upgrade to VIP. And VIP does include options like we've been talking about today and include, includes shorting, which is making, you know, those short sales I was talking about, making money as stocks go down. Good info, question if we purchase. Okay, good, saw that. Do you think it's a good idea to buy the Weight Watcher stock now, even with the keto diet, diet craze? So Ray Ray, I'd have to actually look at the chart. I totally trade based on charts. So I'm looking for where are banks buying and where are banks selling on a stock stock chart. And that way I'll be able to see. So I'd have to look at the chart before I could tell you that. 
um, get the puts ready. <laughs> yep. So if stock prices are coming down, puts may be a good good way to do it. You could also buy puts if you think the market up is going to go down. Yep. So let's see. You'll be able to afford the VIP course after the beginner course. It's so true. You start trading two weeks in. I have you guys start trading on a simulator. And some people ask me, well, Terry, how long does it take to do your class? You'll actually be able to finish my class in 60 days. And I will be there every step of the way. And you're going to start trading after the second week. So I'm having you trade in the simulator. And you're continuing to get better and better and learn more and more in that simulator. And within 60 days, I do think you should be able to make at least your first trade with real money. Um. Over the long haul, yes, the S&P averages about 3% increase per year. So if you shorted stocks, you'd lose an average of 3% a year. So Salvi, that's actually not, not true with shorting stocks. You make money when you short a stock. So this is actually a way for you to double your money, ideally, because you could make 3% going up and then 3% going down. Now you've made 6% return instead of just the 3% in one direction. Does that make sense? So people that know how to short are actually making some substantial money up and down. So quick, quick update, you guys. I accidentally, our time was at four o'clock. <laughs> Somebody's supposed to be in here for the next 30 minutes. I'm waiting for them to come by and be like, oh, I'm so sorry, come store. So, uh, <clears throat> but I extended it on the back end. So you guys getting good information here. You guys, is Terry hooking y'all up? It's 150 of y'all in here. It's 100 likes. <laughs> Have you enjoyed the conversation? She's giving you all the free game. Yeah. She didn't give away the seven steps, but she did give you some free game. Okay, let's see what some of these comments have been. Alternative financial medicine. What's up? That's Dr. Meadows, you guys. Yellow. Wait, I'm sorry. Yellow looks good on you. All right. Thank you, Charles Ogilvy. Look at you, Terry. Terry. No, um. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Terry, the last time you mentioned Mark to Market. Please go over that again. Oh, great. So that's a tax accounting. So someone asked me, well, how as a trader do you make sure not to pay a ton in taxes? Mm -hmm. Well, a way that you can do that is change your accounting on taxes to MTM accounting. It is something that you have to apply for in your when you submit, submit your taxes, apply for MTM accounting. And then that next tax year, you'll be able to use it. But it just allows me to use trading as a business and submit my trading income as a business instead of as capital gains or capital losses. And that helps because then I can start charging expenses to it and just really work it like any other business would. Mm -hmm. uh, Charles Ogilvy said, Erica visits everywhere but California. <laughs> I do not support the craziness of California. Uh, I will not give them my tax dollars. No, um, I, Terry's <laughs> actually in my taxes. I am. I, live here. I came to Austin. I came oh, for no. South by Southwest so that we can like have fun and, and chum Listen, I'm going to take her to this place called La Holla, y'all. Y'all don't even know. I'm about to take her to the cantina. I'm going to throw her mom in the back seat. Come on, let's go. So, right. you know, we're, we're going to have some good time. Hey, people on Instagram. <laughs> hey, um, my food was a little cold. So, it was like, I'm going to take them where the good food is. You could quickly cover You could quickly cover by buying back the shares and returning them to the investor who borrowed them from. If you're lucky, you might not lose very much. Yeah, he's just talking about how you get out of a short sale. But again, take the class so that you can really learn from start to finish. Like anybody, even the advanced traders start with my first class, my trade and travel. They learn all the seven steps and then we take those steps and put it into options so that we can still make money and not lose very much. And the next was October 2018. Yeah, so it's like she literally just started trading and she's been making consistent income. And she's she be, been killing it. And she, and she be sharing it all on the gram. She be stunting the trades for the gram. Yeah, yeah. Check out both of our Instagram pages and you'll see our trades and you'll see Annette's um, trade. She did this like super great video today of like how much how much money she's been making this week and all from the class. Yeah, from my class. I'm gonna buy your mug, Annette. You know, I pretty much have bought Charles Ogilvy's mugs, uh, Andre Hatch's owner be own mugs. Who else? I had Kendra from the Key Resource Mug. I, you know, I, I need y'all to give me some mugs. I you know, I support. Mugs. I support. I'm not, I'm You're here. right. So no, I need I, to go out and buy no, everybody mugs. But if you right. want to donate any <laughs> mugs to Erica Williams, my uh, P.O. box is in the comment section always. Just anytime yeah. you want to send something. Somebody sent me some shirts one time. I was like, okay, but they were small. What you trying to say, girl? <laughs> Who was going to wear them shirts? Not I. But you're going to be like, I know, but the shirt, like, 
the crop. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what is this? This is inappropriate. This is Hooters outfits. <laughs> what are you sending me? I'm not they were doing a little bathing suit. They thought maybe oh, you're okay. your bathing suit, could've could've you don't need that shirt. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they <Shame>. were <laughs> medium shame. I'm like, did you bring me this tiny shirt? Um, cool. So okay, so are there any other questions you wanted to ask though before we get kicked out of the room about our session? I, I think he went to next door. Oh, that's so great. Right. I think he went next door. So anyway, um, you guys know I try not to do hour and thirty minute shows, but y'all love the show. <laughs> you be one the hour and thirty minutes. Do you guys have any other questions? I know that you've probably seen my videos before, or maybe you're new, but do you have any more questions about the courses that I offer? And I guess I actually didn't even talk about the courses. So the first course is Trade and Travel, and it mm-hmm. has four classes in it. The mm-hmm. first one starts with Intro to the Stock Market, and that's the one after that, you're trading in the simulator. Then we go to Risk Management, how do you keep your money and not lose money? Then we talk about charts. And y'all, that's where the bread and butter comes. When you learn how to read a chart and know when to get in and out of a stock, you can start making money. Then we talk about some advanced strategies, like how do you make sure that what you're doing in your charts really is the best level? So we talk about advanced strategy. Then from there, we go to the VIP program, and that's when they start doubling their money with those up, buy, and sell. You Mm -hmm. can sell short, and you can buy. And we talk about options where you start really taking your money to the next level. So... Join the, and, and for those of you who missed the yeah. first video, it's 150 of y'all here. What's up? It's been like 600 people in and out the whole chat. So you're doing pretty good. You're doing really good. Yay! Um, thank y'all for not letting, like, she would really kick me out if I had messed up her channel. So thank watching. y'all for staying. I, I was in the it. chair literally watching her. <laughs> you better be doing it right. Now, um, <laughs> there's very few people I let sub on my channel. Andre Hatch's one, you're one. I think I could let Kier take over for a day. Mm-hmm. I don't know. She in Baltimore. She be cutting it up. Um, <laughs> But what are all the countries you traveled in your remote year? Bring that up again. You can see people like, oh, well, I got to be at my computer all the time. I got to no, right I, here. I, I can't leave my house because I got to trade. Yeah, I was volunteering in South by Southwest this week. And mm-hmm. as long as I had my phone, I could still trade. Like you literally can trade from anywhere. So I, um, I went to Korea, mm-hmm. Vietnam, um, Thailand, several places in Thailand, Australia, Fiji, Israel. Israel is beautiful, by the way. It's one of my favorite places ever. Um, you got to visit Tel Aviv if you go. Um, Greece, I went to Mykonos and Santorini, Italy. So all of that was just last year. And then this year, I've been all over the U.S. Mm-hmm. So I went to Atlanta, Chicago, Austin now. Like mm-hmm. I haven't been home in about month and a half. Listen, we're gonna we're gonna chat more after this because she got a condo mm-hmm. in Chicago. My grandpa's in Chicago. I'll be in Chicago in July. Um I'll be in Atlanta twice in mm. April. Oh, I was in Atlanta. Yeah. For the social proof. That'll be good. Mm, I will. Okay, we'll keep listen, we gotta hook up on a hotel in Atlanta. So then um end of May, Memorial Day weekend is BYOB live, build your brand live. Ooh. Um just looking, I think he went next door. Uh, <laughs> where, where is Build Your Brain? Is it Atlanta? Atlanta, yeah. It, it, well, they were in Washington, D.C. last year. Now they're going to be over there. But the reason I'm talking about this to Terry is because I was telling her some of the biggest gains I've got in my business as far as money, income, mm-hmm. uh, which banks to go apply at, all of them. Like, yes. you know, here's the side information have been at these conferences. See, that's, that's one place where I really want to up my game this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah. like, uh, Terry said I should speak at VidCon, which I, I'm going to put should. in my She should. She should. The application yeah. deadline is this week. Tell her. Y'all put in the comments. Tell her that she needs to speak because she's doing phenomenal things. Like you guys, y'all know from her YouTube channel to just everything that you're doing, like behind the scenes. You really need to teach behind people Behind the that. scenes stuff. Y'all going to see. I'm holding it back right now. I get my truck. Um, okay. So there was a question I saw earlier. Is Robinhood an easy app for beginners? I would say yes. Um, what's your thoughts? It is an easy app for beginners because there's no fees. So especially if you have a smaller account size, it's a nice app. But I do think you need a program that has really robust charts and really robust order types. So with Robinhood, for example, you're not able to put two Mm -hmm. exit orders at the same time. But being able to do that is how we do set it and forget it. Like that's how you can actually go to work or go somewhere else and you don't have to worry about anything. Because you have an order for your losses and an order for your target. See, I try to tell people Robinhood giving you that free, but they but it's it's a catch. Everything's a catch. That's why I have right. an e trade account. I have from, from college still have the same e trade mm-hmm. account. Um, 
all my big stuff is in my e trade account. Yeah. Now my when I wrote the Smartphone Millionaire book, I started testing all these different. So I have a ton in Stockpile app. I'm recording that. I have some mm-hmm. in um, med, med, uh, M1 Finance because I talked to them at the FitCom. Like they gave me the oh, yeah. T-shirt for free. They gave me the hookup on the affiliate. Like yeah. all that good stuff. Can you tell me about Stockpile? Because I have some Stockpile fractional shares. apps that they've given me to give to my oh, students. Oh, right, right, right. So, so how it's, do I? Uh, I'm, like mm-hmm. I'm just testing different things because when I wrote the book, I had like, I said, yeah, you should try this and this. Hey, everybody over there. I forgot you're behind over there. You might be seeing hey, me. Hey, it's Grant. <laughs> with my yoga pants here. <laughs> anyway, you guys ain't going to be judging me. I don't have time for your judgment. Yeah. I had been watching the comments while I was eating. I was like, just in case they drink. <laughs> and here, I'll look for more questions while you look that oh, up. Somebody asked me about Lending Club. I have a video on Lending Club, some shares I purchased just this week, dropping probably tomorrow. I thought I put it in for today, but I looked up on the calendar and it didn't drop. So I have to go back in the back office and fix it. So here's the thing. So I, I have someone here, um, CJH. And he just asked about he's in a different country. Is he? Is it still good to take my course? He's in the UK. He's in the UK. The UK. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. The answer is yes. You can still take my course even if you're in a different country. I have several international students now because the principles that I'm teaching, like how to read charts and then how to pick good companies, how to protect your risk, all those things are transferable no matter what market you're in. And we just have to find a broker in your country that you can begin to trade with. So maybe you may not use um, Trade Station like the students in the U.S., but maybe you can use TD somewhere else. Like Canada, my Canadian students are using TD, and we just make sure that you still have a good broker where you can implement the same strategy. So yes, even if you're international, I think this is a good course for you. Mm-hmm. You still pulling up stockpile? I am. Okay. So you see how I have Money Team. Mm-hmm. I have, and this is like I've gone through too many phones. I have like get around, so I like group my different apps. So I I'm go in there. I you to still upgrade to an iPhone though. I Team hate, I hate, iPhone. I hate Apple. <laughs> okay, they're coming here to Austin, North Austin, <laughs> destroying everything, killing all the trees. They're like, no, we're gonna build around trees. You're lying, Apple. I'm, I'm, I know you're lying. That portrait mode though, it's beautiful. Okay, so this is this is crazy. It's just bananas. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it was just me testing it for this. And so, again, these are boring and for the purposes of like Barnes and Nobles and CenturyLink and just different ones. I was just buying fractional shares to show them. Like, I recorded my screen for the class. Yeah. Oh, that's so, really cool. So, that's what I was doing. I was like, mm-hmm. test for one. So, yeah. Terry laughing at me because I got all that red. Oh, my goodness. See that? Bleed me socks and bleed me over here. See, if she knew how to short, she could make money on that. There she goes. But she's not. <laughs> problem. <laughs> Big problem. How roasting me on my chest. <laughs> how dare you, Terry? Um, but yeah, so it's anyway. So like when I go in, I go to search for socks. And to me, what's limiting about stock power, I don't get all the stock. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When I want M1 Finance, I got 6,000 stocks, shares, bonds, uh, ETFs. Yeah. I do what I want. Yeah. Here, I think I feel like they've got the least risky. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so, yeah. like, what's a big, what's the most expensive I can think of? Google? Amazon. I don't see Amazon. AMZN. Okay, we're going to click on Amazon. So, it's it moved negative $43 today. Dang. Who was shorting it? Who made some money today? Who made some money Just today? wondering. I actually put in an order to short them a day or two ago. Who else made some money? So if I go over here to go buy them, right? Mm-hmm. You know they ain't got no dividends, so I ain't looking at it. So, um, so I go over here. Let's say I want to put it in uh, 30 bucks. It'll say, well, you're getting this much of the shares. Mm. And it'll charge me 99 cent on the back end. Well, that's not good. Well, well you're making like less, like your fees are higher than the amount of money you're going to make. Technically, if you look at, we'll talk about this. Okay. okay. But like, there's some people I know I've watched their thing where they put in a particular like 10%, whatever 10%, mm-hmm. and then when it moved, then they sold it. Okay. So they, okay. they made money, but. So they were trade they were day trading kind of like. Yeah, you know, I was like. Trading fast. Yeah, but it, they were. Stuff exactly. Hmm. So that's. I'm being you learn something new every day. You know, listen, but stock power is mostly for what I tell people. It's mostly for just fractional shares, something mm-hmm. simple. 
And I mean, I do like them though, because they were at FinCon and they mm -hmm. support my school and they've like given shares to my students. Also, I was so, looking for it for my nephew. Ah. Uh, custodial account. Okay. That's and good. then like just you know show him, teach him. Get that started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of why. But you know, I'm gonna take Terry's class because she's shy, so I she can go. short. Okay. Show Somebody made that. quick two hundred and thirty dollars <laughs> in like five minutes. All right, but a a a. But see, scalping, so here's the thing. When you're scalping, you're taking really high-risk trades. And I'd rather you not do that. I'd rather you take low-risk trades that can give you more money than to try to just make a dollar on this. Well, you know, if it just goes up one dollar, I'll make some money. That's good. But you also are risking a lot of losses. So, yeah, you may have a couple ones that do well, but then you have some where you're just bleeding and your account won't grow. And we want to make mm -hmm. sure that you do low risk trades so that you'll see your account actually grow. So I, I love that you made money, but there's some other ways to, to do it so that mm -hmm. you're not risking so much. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So there was one. Why trade single stocks when you could trade both long and short inverse ETFs? So here's the thing. An ETF trades just like a stock. Mm -hmm. So if you want to invest in a sector, then you can. Like I can invest in all of the technology sector what, hey, with man, just hey hey welcome welcome yes. who else is enrolling with him y'all but um so yes yeah, so you can invest in etfs but they trade just like stocks so whether you decide okay i'm gonna invest in amazon or i'm gonna invest in oh, okay. um i believe it's arkw is like an etf that trades um technology shares but don't quote me because i need to look at the ticker symbol but you can trade either one and you'll still be making money. Um, one thing I will say is the ETF many times will not move as much as the individual stock. So, for example, recently I shorted the SPY, which is the um, ETF that trades the whole S&P 500. It might move a dollar a day, whereas the whole S&P may move fifteen dollars. So you got it's like you kind of give and take. It's a little less risky because you're trading a bundle of stocks, but you also don't make as much because you don't have that um, movement, if that makes sense. I hope I answered your question. So you guys, there's so many questions in here. We're catching here and there. Uh, can you tell me a little more about trading with stimulator? Now, here's what I wanted to interject with. Mm -hmm. If you take my class, the um, tax lien class, I show them each county before you invest in tax liens has a simulator. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. So again, this is, you guys, if you've seen video games, you know what a simulator is. It's mm -hmm. all it is is a way for you to go on there with a fake hundred dollars. In practice. In practice. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? Like I didn't want to, I didn't mean to ignore your questions. There's just so many on here. Mm -hmm. And I will say though, some simulators are better than others. Mm -hmm. So especially when you're doing stock trading, if you do some of the free simulators, they may not be up to date. So their stock prices may not be the actual stock price, which can kind of hinder you sometimes when you're an, excuse me, super active trader. Um, so I do like some of the more robust simulators so you can really get real time practice. So, Terry, thank you so much. Rock and roll, Dana, posting that again. So Vaughn Williams, I saw how many different classes do I have? I have different classes, but when I bring people on, I'm talking about their class. So Terry has two classes. One's travel and trade. Get you those basics, get you those seven steps, get you in there, get you trading. Again, we show Annette's worth as one of her testimonials. Literally seven steps, boom, 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 right? Then her VIP trading has what's the other options that it's make it different? Shorting, um, advanced char charting techniques, and then options trading. And you get personal coaching from me. So like in the trade and travel, we do group coaching. But in VIP, you can actually say, hey, Terry, I want to set up an hour with you or 45 minutes with you and go through some concepts and we can do that. And we can look at some individual stocks together. <laughs> People said I found her for yesterday and subscribe. Watch her first video with Terry and watch the video on Lending Club. Yeah, there's hey. I have two videos with Terry at this point. Well, three. This is a third. I want to know about tax lien. Go on. You got to hit the links. Look, I'm going to get Terry some tequila. Tequila. No, I'm not going to do it that way. Um, but it's some good tricks. Erica is my per investment professor. She don't know it. Thank you. I appreciate that. She teaches all of us, though. She's just in so many different things. Like, I, I admire you. Read really the book, are. The Go-Giver. I mean, I'm telling you, like, Zig Ziglar kept saying, you can have everything you want if you give people what they want. Yeah. 
and 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 if people realize it's win win, we're all win out here. Exactly. And there's yeah. not there's not like too little. You know, mm-hmm. there's so much, so much out here for everybody. It's mindset. Mm-hmm. You don't have to take anybody down. You don't have to fight with anybody. I'm like, girl, there's like, um, I'm gonna use your notebook for a second. Sure. Show it because it. So like, this is a dot on a piece of paper. See that dot? No, you can't really see it. That is imagine a <laughs> hundred thousand subscribers. That's just a dot. There's seven yeah. billion people on the planet. So when people say, well, Erica, I didn't hear about you. Of course not. That's okay. There's tons of people on the planet. And so mm-hmm. I'm just trying to get people to understand that there's like money out there to be made. Like just when it comes to stocks, if you just don't know something, you don't know there's a whole world out there. Like I was telling about Cole Maddox. It was a kid who went to coding. Mm-hmm. His parents sent him to coding cap at 16. Literally the next year, he's like, I'm going to make a stock, a hedge fund. Oh, yes, you told me yes. about this. And literally, I mean, they're literally the... The literally mom's a lawyer dad's a doctor or the other way around one daughter and he asked the neighbor and like gave his little pitch and and they were like okay thank you guys <laughs> can i actually can i make a couple comments though about sure. mba so a lot of people lately have been asking me well do you think it's worth getting your mba and like i do have a, a master's mine is in media and communications and to tell you the truth there's quite a few things that you can do to make money that don't require um a master's degree so investing in the stock market is one of them. I, ne- I didn't necessarily need to go get my master's to invest in the stock market. Real estate is another one. I didn't need to go get my MBA to invest in real estate. But when you think about the cost of my courses, I compare it to going to get your MBA. If you were to go get your MBA to learn how to invest. Oh, Did we drop you guys? I saw the numbers went from 140 down to 80. Did we drop? Yeah, someone said YouTube's being shady. Are you guys here? Put a one in the comments if you guys are still here. Put a one in the comments. I think we're back on, but just in case. Go ahead. Oh, good to know. Um, (laughs) If you get your MBA, then a lot of times the price is like $40,000 a year. And so now you're paying, or sometimes even a semester, Mm -hmm. but now you're paying $80,000 plus to learn how to invest in the stock market. And many times those MBA classes, glad to see you guys are still here. But many times those MBA classes still don't prepare you to actually make money in the market. So then you come to my class, I'm giving just as much knowledge. We have over 40 hours worth of content just in the trade and travel course. So you're getting 40 hours worth of direct knowledge on how to invest in the stock market. And I'm giving it to you for such a low price. I um, had some people do some market research. The value of my course is over twenty thousand dollars. Oh, I would. I've been giving it for two thousand. So it's yes. really yeah. a ninety percent. And we give it off twenty five percent off. Yes. Mm-hmm. So y'all get in fast because like I'm so serious. The value is so much more than what I'm charging. Even if you were to do the five thousand dollar course, you're still getting seventy five percent off the market value for my course. So get in now before I change my mind about. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> this is not okay. And to have personal coaching. Hey, thank you for the mm-hmm. super chat, Mr. Health Wellness, for the $2 yeah. super chat. On TradeStation, can you use funds in an IRA? Yes, you can build, You can do an IRA um, or you can do a regular account. You can do your all types of retirement accounts, so traditional IRA, Roth IRA, um, and then you can do different types of trading accounts, futures, forex, not forex futures and options and equities wait let me give you all a little clip it's going on 4 30 here the real hard workers are still here but you notice there's a ton of people just diving leaving the building now one awesome traffic two <laughs> south by southwest is here but three this happens at every we work people are like i work for myself so i just go home when i want and i'm like mm. people making money are the people who are still here yeah so because you got here at nine or ten then you took a lunch then it's probably more like you got here at 10 <laughs> because you slept in a little bit because you didn't have to be anywhere. Yep. Then you took a lunch this, at 12. This, I'm telling you, this is uh-huh. when people say, oh, I don't work for myself. Careful. Yeah. You still need a schedule. Work ethic is everything. Like even with trading, work ethic is everything. Can you guys hear us? Put a one in the comments if you can hear us. If not, we'll, we're going to wrap the show up because if, if it's dropping, we don't yeah. know when it's dropping. The numbers went back up to 111. So... Yeah, one still here. That's okay, good. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, did the price go up? No, the price didn't go up. Cash money. Not um, yet. Nope. It's still the same. But get it now. Um, after I think the discount goes until March 9th, 
after March, March 9th, 9th, my birthday. Yes, after her birthday, the discount goes away. So you guys got to get in this week. Get it before the weekend, and then we're going to go to full price. So make sure that you get in now before the class goes to full price. And then we start the spring cohort in April, April, April 15th. I believe that's a Monday. That's when I start live coaching all the students who've enrolled um, this month and up to April. So you want to get in, start reading, not reading, watching the curriculum, doing the work, getting familiar with what I'm teaching so that when we start live, you can hit the ground running. Yeah. OK, so you guys, you've been beautiful. You've been wonderful. Thank you all. For your participation today. And they go for we letting her eat. All the light <laughs> I mean, I ate it with a little cold, so we're going to eat some cooler food. Um, thank you, everybody. I got my mm -hmm. side hustle to make more money. There you go. Yes. That's how you got to do it. Yeah. Because, again, what was it? Like, a do if we do 100 a day, it's like. Yeah, 100 a day is 500 extra dollars a week, mm -hmm. which is 2000 a month. And that's 24000 extra dollars a, a year just by making $100 a day. People don't think about that. That's good I'm money. You, I keep telling people the whole hundred thousand people are trying to make six figures a year. I'm like, most people already make forty, thirty-five thousand. And then if you add on some sides, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Do you think? What's up, Jackie? First time seeing me. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Check the replay. What time <laughs> are your lives? CJ, my times are all over the place because I'm always trying to catch business owners like her to come on the show. I'm always trying to catch people who are doing whatever they want. So it's like. And I'm in a WeWork. Um, and are you talking about Erica's lives or my live coaching? Oh, we yeah, do tell it, about your live coaching. Yeah, we do it once a, for trading travel. We do it once a week. It's Mondays at 8 p.m. And that's 8 p.m. Central Time. So that gives people time to get off <laughs> like of work. I mean, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Gosh. Terry with one R, though, y'all. It's T-E-R-I. They, they don't care. Erica <laughs> with 14 K's. Erica with no C's. They don't care. Uh, and then the VIP program, we see who's in the VIP and we arrange the schedules based on the students. Okay, so. you guys. So since we're having so many difficulties, thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't know. This is going to get trolls. Um, okay. Thank you guys for being. Oh, that's a real troll. That's inappropriate. We got to make sure you're getting some of these inappropriate folks out of here. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching it. Thank you, Julio. Or Julio. Oh, I'm trying to block. That was in a purple. Okay. Anyway, it's tripping. You see what it said. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you girls are wonderful. Y'all don't Thanks see my much. shirt. Girl, girl plus God. God. Girl plus God. I'm, I'm very much a holy girl. We love you. Love you, too, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Listen, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for supporting the channel. The guy who super chatted is the sponsor of this show. Thank you. What's his name? Mr. Health and Wellness is the sponsor of today's show, you guys. Yeah. All right. Later, you guys. Bye. Thank you, guys. See you inside class.